These are my streets. This is my neighborhood. We're Kenzo's baby. As I walk these streets and speak with my neighbors, I continue to hear the same old thing. Richie, I would give anything to get the old neighborhood back. But you know what happened, man. Most people, they just gave up. But not me. It's time to take a stand. Kenzo News will focus on the issues that matter most to the Kensington area. With this camera and this show, I plan to use the power of the press to let the world know Kenzo Pride is alive. Hi, welcome to the new Richie Antipuna show. We're down here at Philly Camp Studios now. As you can see, we record right here from the Express Studio right here on 7th Street. I haven't been on for a while, but I'm back now and I got a couple guests coming on to the show today to uh, talk with us and see what's going on. I got William Dunbar coming up. He's running for uh, state representative in the 177th District of Philadelphia, John Taylor spot. And I also have a guest that was on here before and he'll be coming back here a lot more, DJ Too Tough. So stay tuned for the new Richie Antipuna show. Beaming from the Philly Cam 66 satellite to the Philadelphia area, this is Kenzo News, Kensington's first and only news show, starring Kensington's own Richie Antipuna. I was in attendance at the Community Cornerstone Church at Frankfurt, Allegheny, where Mike Blackie hosted a town hall meeting. Uh, and it was entitled, Hey, What's the Matter with Our Kids? Well, to my dismay, there was only 19 people in attendance other than the reporters that were there and the photographers and myself and the guest speakers who were uh, people from the D district attorney's office, uh, juvenile probation office, 25th district, 24th district police. It was also Roberta Lopez and Tony Young from the Mimic Association that helps uh, young males uh, be more productive in society. Uh, there was a lot of going back and forth on blaming the parents, blaming, blaming the neighborhoods, um, but what it all boiled down to was that, you know, everybody has to take responsibility for their self and you have to care about your community. You have to get out there. You know, if you don't like what's going on, you get out and sit on your step every night. You clean the front of your house, whatever you have to do. But if you make a presence known, then the things that you're not happy about going on on your block or whatever will disappear. You know, they'll, they'll know that you care. But when you hide behind your curtain, close your doors and just sit back and bitch, nothing's ever going to get done. So with that, we're going to go into our next guest, who is DJ Too Tough from the Tough Crew. And they have their famous Kensington anthem song, So Damn Tough. We'll be right back. And here's our special guest, DJ Too Tough. Good to meet you again, sir. <laughs> How you been? Good, good. How you been? Hey, what's up, everybody out there in uh, Richie Antipuna TV land? All right, so what have you been up to, man? What have you been doing since the last time you were on the show? Well, I've been dealing with a variety of subjects, including canceled shows and uh, uh, licensing deals. Got a licensing deal up in Canada with uh, Roots Forward Records for a 300 reissue of uh, the Lost Archives. Also got a licensing nice. deal, relicensing deal for uh, flipping kilos and back to yell with a company out of Wisconsin called Dope Folks Records. Who was the dude that bugged you for that song, Flipping Kilos? You were. No. Oh, no, no, you're talking about the dude that was at Quinny's Bar. Sean Big ups to the crazy leopard. Sean Flaherty. Shout out to Sean Flaherty. <laughs> True Kens Kenstonian. Nah, he's from, said he's from Kenzo he's Tonian. He's from Port Richmond. Yeah, well. He comes across the bridge once in a while. Once in a while. He used to come anyway. come across the silver, nah, the blue bridge back Depending then. Depending on if they got a two for, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what, no, get off the negative side, what's been going on good in your life? You look right. good? So, thank you. Thank you. You look good too. 
Thanks, I look good since I lost all that weight. Yeah, yeah, you got the, without that without that leather hat, which <laughs> mysteriously reappeared. Shout out to the person that brought his leather hat back. Who was that anyway? That was Colleen Davis. And uh, the person who's who's uh, conspicuous by their absence, uh, Double Bubble. Shout out. You know, <laughs> we'll keep it on the hip hop note and keep on giving shots out. But on a more educated note and a more positive note and a more uh, uh, up-to-date note, the Tycone Billiards show that I had uh, was canceled. So I sold a lot of tickets to the Tycone Billiards in advance. And I was surprised that I don't have more of a mob scene like the Salem Witch Hunt following me around. Well, I actually went up there and talked to uh, the owners, Joey and, and, Bruno. and Dominic. And Bru Dom. Br 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 Bruno's not involved in that anymore. Well, actually, there was a problem with it, with a 3006 ordinance, special occupancy license, right. which I've now become um, quite accustomed to and have done in-depth research on. Well, when I was up there, they were on it. Yeah, they were on it, but since then, that club has been uh, off limits for any further shows. So what we did is we moved the Tycone Billiards show, which was a tough crew Danger Zone Legends show, and uh, it was to be hosted, well, he didn't notice yet, but at that point it was to be hosted by Richie Antipuna, so uh, you know now. Yeah, I know now. I'm, I guess I'm the host. You are definitely the host. Uh, so it'll be at JC, uh, it'll be at uh, the legendary Dobbs on 3rd and South, or at JJ McGillicuddy's uh, right next to the Electric Factory. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know. 7th and Cowlehill, yeah, I think. Yeah, 7th we, and... We'll have a date. Um, April. Because I'm surprised that I'm the MC. I, I wasn't aware. Yeah, that's that's mid-May, so you'll be prepared by that time. April 7th, I am at the Arch Garage. Uh, DJ Too Tough and DJ Freedom. I'll do a little set right there. April 11th, I return to the scene of the crime, back to Silk City. Nice. Uh, where I was... Uh, Arre uh, where, where you were arrested on assault charges? Confrontation. I wasn't actually arrested there, but I was... Uh, Accused later arrest accused of a, a, a uh, crime that was later dismissed um, Right after that I do have a gigantic show at the grape room nice in Maniunk uh, Detonation techniques DJ too tough. I got gargantuans. It's headlined by clever one homicidal got gargantuans, which is baby black uh, Fell Sweetenberg and all-purpose shout out Rick Kirkland. I got um Bad News Bars and Sibski, who made that happen, also known as Public League. We got uh, Face Off the King. I got uh, AU and uh, Team Bauer. And I also have Too Much Raw straight off the R6 Cypher. So that's May 10th. May 10th. At the Grape Room in Mania, guaranteed to be packed. Also with a uh, open fire mic cypher immediately to follow the show. Well, you you also are sponsored by someone, aren't you? Oh yeah, yeah, we are. You have a sponsorship. You know, Mitchell and Ness definitely sponsoring us all crazy. We get a better shot of the Mitchell and Ness thing if you could zoom in or not. But uh, Mitchell and Ness supplies all of my gear. Special shout out to Zaid and um, and Will over at Mitchell and Ness. You need to give me some new threads. Yeah, I'll get you some new threads. Right, that's what's up. Definitely. <laughs> so you can check me out on Facebook, DJ Two Tough. Www.dj2tough.com, Facebook backslash DJ2tough. I'm on Twitter, uh, pound sign DJ2tough, all one word. And, uh, you know. Well, thanks for stopping by again, my, show. my Tremendous man. Tremendous to be on here. I thought I was coming on here to talk about my experiences in Kensington, but uh, that's better off left buried. There you go. Thank you so much. We'll be back. All right, we're back, and we have Mr. William Dunbar with us. For those of you who don't know who he is, I'm going to give him a chance to tell you who he is. How you doing? I'm William Dunbar, who of is course. currently running for state representative in the 177, which is Port Richmond, Kensington, 
Bridesburg section of Philadelphia. Uh, and I'm the Democratic nominee uh, on a ballot for uh, April 24th and in November November 6th. Okay. Um, did anybody run against you in the primaries, leading up to the primaries? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of a trick question. Uh, you were actually initially on the ballot. Uh, and. Uh, but we are now working together. That's right. We're working as a team. Yeah, we're working as a team here. And uh, I'm happy to have your endorsement and, and the endorsement of... The, Just uh, tell the people what your uh, platform is about, what, what you're running on. So my, my main platform is, is educational opportunity. Um, that we need, to, in order to make our community better, we need to have more people and parents being able to send their children to better schools. Now, if I was just a guy on the street, I would say, come on, man, stop fucking bullshitting. Tell me for real, what do you, what do you want to do? Well, educational opportunity. All right, and that's... And making that's, our community better. And that's the, the right answer. That's the right answer. That's right. We need to make our community better. We need to make our schools better. We need to make our housing better. And we need to bring jobs back to our community. I spoke about the community meeting that I attended a uh, Cornerstone Community Church which you also attended there, and you heard what some of the parents had to say about the children in the in the neighborhoods and what happens and what doesn't happen. Right, and I it, and it's sad that the representation that we have had for the last 27 years um, have have not been addressing these issues. Um, that we need more funding from Harrisburg to support the initiative and social programs that we need in our communities. Uh, in order to have a better community, we have to give the children something to do. The reason that they're out in the streets, riding dirt bikes, all of the issues that we heard at that at meeting, the meeting that right. is because they don't have anything to do. The, the school, the city doesn't have the funds. They're cutting funding they for sports programs, they're cutting funding for after-school programs. You know. And right, and so that, and that, and that, that funding essentially that the city gets to provide those services come from Harrisburg. And unfortunately, my opponent has continuously voted to support the, the governor, Governor Corbett's budget um, that cuts those programs and social, social programs. Now, just to be fair, I'm going to say that um, his opponent is John Taylor, and I welcome John Taylor to come on the show by himself, you know, and give his side of the story, or he can come on with William Dunbar, and we'll go into the large studio, and you can have a debate. Oh, that would be excellent. I, I welcome a debate any day. Just uh, let me know the date and time, and I'm there. Because I don't want it to seem like we're just sitting there trying to beat up on a guy and he can't, you know, have a response. I'm not. We, I, I welcome a, a healthy debate for my competitor. Um, and this race is about the issues, making our community better as a whole. It's not about personality. It's not about beating anyone down. It's about he has a long history of voting with his party. So we, we want people to know that, and we want them to know how and why their research are being cut. They need the right rest representation. In order to do that, they have, they have to exercise their right to vote. So that's why I'm asking for their support. I've been saying that people don't know the power they have in this little finger right here. Vote. Because you can't bitch about what you get if you didn't vote for it or against it. You know what I mean? So vote. That's very important. It's your constitutional right. It's what makes you American. Yeah, right. yeah. We, we, we need to, we're going to be out in the community. Richie and I are going to be together uh, and making sure... We're knocking on doors, knocking kissing on babies, doors. and shaking hands. Correct. So, yeah, we're going to have a lot of events, and we want people to come out. We're going to have community events that we're going to be doing, and things for the children, things for the seniors, and we want you to come out and, and get a chance to know me so that we can... We're, we're all one community. Uh, it's not about a separate neighborhood, it's not about one piece of neighborhood, it's about all our whole community, the holistic and making all of it, it, it better for all of us. That's good. All right, William, thank you for coming on. Thank you. And like I said, I, me. okay, like I said, I welcome uh, the other uh, opponent, John Taylor, to come on the show by yourself where we can have a debate with whichever one.
Okay, that's all we have for you this week. Hope you enjoyed the show. Join us next week and every week at Thursday at 10 o'clock p.m. At, on Comcast Channel 66 and Verizon Channel 29, and that's the Philly Cam Station. Also, like to talk about a couple events coming up at uh, the Kenzo Pride Day, which is uh, April 22nd. But we're having two events. We're having one on the 20th, which is Friday, and one on the 22nd, which is Sunday. The Friday event will be held at the Crazy Leprechaun at 3589 Richmond Street, and that will be for the adults to come out and unwind. And then on Sunday, we'll have the Family Day, where Kenzos can bring their children and whatnot. And that will be held at O'Reilly's Irish Pub on Frankfurt and Lehigh. And there'll be uh, activities for children. I'm also going to crown the king and queen of Kensington there and also the prince and princess of Kensington. So thanks for watching. Great to have you. Kenzo forever, baby.